we're given two functions. f of x is x cubed plus bx squared plus cx minus 3, and g of x is 10x plus 1. And we have to solve for b and c given that the line g is tangent to f at x equals negative 1. And I'm not sure if you have noticed that the problem is much easier than it could have been because, because of the point of tangency is given. So again, we're going to say that at the point of tangency, there are two levels of agreements between the two functions. f of negative 1 is equal to g of negative 1, and f prime of negative 1 equals to g prime of negative 1, which is the slope. That should give us two equations, which is what we need if we have two unknowns. So let's see. f of negative 1 is negative 1 cubed plus b times negative 1 squared plus c times negative 1 minus 3, which is b minus c minus 4. And that should be the same thing as g evaluated at negative 1. That's 10 times negative 1 plus 1. Well, that's negative 9. So that's not bad. That's uh, nice linear. Actually, we can further simplify. b minus c is negative 5. Or in case we are going to substitute, b equals c minus 5. OK, so the second equation, well, the derivative of f, f prime, is 3x squared plus 2bx plus c. And so this evaluated at negative 1 should be the derivative of the line, which is the slope, which is 10. So the second equation will say that 3 times negative 1 squared plus 2b times negative 1 plus c has to equal to 10, which is g prime at everywhere. That gives us minus 2b plus c plus 3 equals to 10. And I actually want, want to want to add the two equations as it is, because that would cancel out c. So there, this, this system is lending itself for elimination very nicely. Let's just repeat, b minus c is negative 5. And let's simplify here as much as we can. Negative 2b plus c equals 7. Now when we add the two lines, we get negative b is 2. So b is negative 2. And then negative 2, I guess what we needed was really c is b plus 5 from here. So then c is negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. So we think that the answer is b equals negative 2 and c equals 3. Thank you for watching.